Composed of the toughest and resourceful people, this team seeks to restore the order of the timelines. Capable of fighting the toughest enemies and slickest criminals around, we have the best detectives, researchers, and engineers of the nation who travel through different time periods. We can handle any timeline incident, no problem. We are the Cyclops Squadron. The target we're after in this investigation is this man. We started off thinking because of the name of the subject, the artist, and the fact that in his mugshot there was a painting. We kind of initially thought he was an art thief, but as of now it's very much changed from that. He's an artist and historian and has a love for Venezuela. In this image, we can see the bandit with several other photos. For the one on the bottom left, we can see the painting of Simon Bolivar's death, known as Muerte de Simon Bolivar, and this image portrays Bolivar's deathbed. He liberated a portion of Latin America and ruled the Republic of Gran Colombia. His right hand man led a rebellion against Bolivar, so Bolivar had to hide under a bridge in freezing water for hours. As a result of death, he got tuberculosis and passed away. The flag of Gran Colombia, in which Bolivar ruled, was actually hung up in the suspect's office. Thanks to that, we were able to narrow down the time period to 1819 through 1830, the time period Gran Colombia was present. So what is it like now? As of now, we, after some of the evidence came to light, we soon understood it wasn't just an art theft. It was more like our perp was trying to assassinate someone in order to perpetuate a, a very short-lived republic. One of the clues given to the team shows that the bandit visited a gun range and attempted rapid fire with an antique gun. These were one of his attempts. His accuracy stinks. It's quite apparent that he's trying to kill someone. Our ideas were initially split between two theories. We thought the bandit was trying to kill Bolivar before he was able to liberate Latin America or kill his right-hand man to prevent Bolivar's death. Other clues indicate that he was concerned about the economy of Venezuela. He got his hands on the papers relating to the foreign relations of the United States. In the states that Gran Colombia was dissolved and a majority of the debt from Mexico fell out to Venezuela. Along with his love for Venezuela, it's safe to assume that he wanted to stop Simon Bolivar's right-hand man, who we now know as Francisco de Paula Santander. It's likely that the bandit is trying to commit a crime by either killing or in some way incapacitating Francisco de Paula Santander to save Simon Bolivar. A possible motivation that the artist wants to save the Grand Colombia from dissolving and all the debt accrued falling onto his home country. Another possibility is that he's seeking justice against Bolivar's traitorous generals and other members of the rebellion. Oh my gosh. I think we figured it out! Yes! Yes! Let's go! And the team has cracked the code yet again. Now that they pinpointed their target, they're off to stop the bandit. We'll see you again, folks. Until next time. Cyclops Squadron.